Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Kookily Bushcraft channel. Okay, so uh, budget act review for you today. Uh, I'm in uh, I'm in England at the moment, and uh, my first day back, and I saw an axe that looks quite decent and quite cheap. So this is the Roughneck Tough Tools for a Tough World Vintage Hand Axe. So it's uh, one and a quarter pounds, uh, that's about 600 grams. And uh, yeah, I first saw these on Screwfix, uh, which is a uh, mail order. Used to be mail order. <laughs> now it's a kick, click and collect stroke internet uh, store in the UK. And uh, in Finland, we often buy tools from them because it's cheap. Uh, this axe I don't think is available in uh, in America. So to all of the Americans watching, I'm sorry I don't think you can get this, but Roughneck does exist in America. And uh, from what I've heard, the, uh, the ones you get in America are actually made in the USA, from what I've heard. Uh, here it says, by Olympia Tools, UK Limited. Uh, I think as if it was actually made in the UK, it would say made in the UK. I think Olympia Tools is probably just the distributor. But uh, anyway, let's open it up, see what it looks like. So yeah, we were thinking of buying axes for, for the farm for uh, for chopping dog meat. And uh, yeah, these were a little bit too expensive for that. We uh, rarely buy cheap ones, but I thought it looks okay. And uh, I think these are twenty four pounds on uh, on Screwfix. I saw this in uh, a local hardware store, fourteen pounds ninety nine. So what would that be? Mm. Yeah, I'll put, I'll convert that to uh, to euros and uh, into dollars. I don't know if it's available in the US. I guess not. Uh, so let's have a look at the edge. With cheap axes, they're uh, usually pretty damn dull. And uh, yeah, it's not awful. Not awful. I'll definitely be sharpening that up a bit before I do anything with it. Okay, so it's wedged at the top with two rings. Looks like a tight fit apart from... Yeah, it looks a little bit rough around there. Let's take this off. <laughs> UK legal folded knife now. So the handles American Hickory, uh, FSC Forestry Stewardship Council. So it's uh, sustainably sourced. The uh, grain orientation is pretty much perfect. Let's see, does it look straight? Hmm. It's not bad. It's a little bit wonky, actually. A little bit. Okay. Uh, nice grippy handle. There's no lacquer or anything on it. Looks quite nice, I think. Looks very, very old school. Uh, so, yeah, 600 grams. Similar size and function to uh, the uh, Holters Fours, Holtz Brooks Trekking Axe. And uh, round about half of the price. So on eBay, these go for about £17. This was £14.99. 
or £24 more or less on screw fix. So it's pretty cheap. And, uh, nice shiny head on it. I'm really, really not sure what this what this is for. I mean, it's obviously not for Overstrike or anything. It's uh, a little bit of rubber on the bottom. I don't know what the idea is with that. So it comes with this cover. You've got the little rubber cover and you've got this thing. Because, of course, you lose these very quickly. So it's got a, a tiny little belt loop. Uh, that looks quite flimsy. Uh, yeah, I mean, this this isn't great, but uh, it's better than nothing, you know. It's uh, 15 quid, so you don't... <laughs> You don't expect anything, anything particularly better. Let's, does it actually fit in? <laughs> I'm actually wondering if I've got this the right way up. Of course it's the right way up. There's a little snap there. That's uh, a little bit awkward, but it works. So you can hang that off a nail, hang it off your belt. Okay, so this really doesn't work very well on your belt. It's just far too hard to actually get the thing in and out. So we've got a nice thin bit that should make it pretty decent for, for chopping and crafting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it to the Fiskars X7 which is a really nice little axe which these go for about £23. So uh, yeah a similar price range maybe a little bit more expensive. But, Let's, let's give it 10 chops each. So, Fiskars, rough neck. So this is ash by the way, this is Leyland Cypress. It's all very old and dry. I'm supposed to be reviewing this axe, but I just uh, <laughs> I can't put the fiskers down. It's just uh, it's quite a lot better. So what's the verdict? Well, as if I was going to choose between these two axes, the X7 would definitely win. 
this looks a lot nicer nice pretty handle uh, this is lighter and cuts better uh, yeah looking at the grind on this it's maybe not quite symmetrical and, uh, and it's a much steeper angle which uh, which would probably explain a, a lot uh, so what what I'll do at some point is I'll get that on a grinder and just uh, just take the bevel down a little bit it should it should work better that way uh, aesthetically the handle looks really nice apart from all of the writing on it which uh, which I think is if I really wanted to I could get rid of that uh, and still have the uh, the nice the nice thing yeah it's it's nice to have a wooden handle you know it's uh, looks nice and old school and traditional but uh, yeah a smaller axe that bites better for not very much more price yeah I think the uh, yeah fiskers are good for what you pay and uh, as for this uh, as for this yeah for a cheap axe it's okay but uh, to get it to work good it's going to take a little bit more work and uh, yeah, the Fiskus handle is much more comfortable. Uh, this fails a little bit. Yeah, the little phone's foot here could be uh, a little bit bigger. And, uh, yeah. Fiskus, much better. This thing, it's okay. Um, I'm glad I didn't pay the uh, full £23 that they were asking on Screwfix uh, for £14 it's it's not a bad little axe it'll fit nicely in your backpack and uh, you know there's nothing really wrong with it but uh, yeah it's uh, nowhere close to being as good as the Fiskers but really, I think if you want a cheap axe and you're prepared to do the work, I think you can get axe heads pretty cheap all over the place and it's really nice to, to handle an axe yourself so if you've got the time. I have got a couple that I've, uh, that I've done in the past. I'll maybe show them on a video at some point in the future. But would I recommend this axe? Well... As if you want, if you see one for uh, fourteen pounds or a similar price, then, and you're looking for an axe and you don't want to spend more money than that, then yeah, it's kind of what you'd expect for that price range. You do get what you pay for. Okay, well, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, I'll see you again soon for another Kukuli Bushcraft video. Bye for now.